new body. It's what we all dream of. But is a crash diet ever the answer? New medical research suggests that crash dieting could actually be the solution to Britain's obesity problem. We're exploring the reality behind the sensational claims on this controversial subject. Oh, I can feel myself deflating. Oh. Last week we met three Christmas crash dieters who lost five stone between them. Look at me. I'm getting me back. Tonight we're going one better with four different crash diets. Lighter Life, the Dukan Diet, the Elimination Diet and the Juice Master Diet. So here we go. As we follow our crash dieters' battle to keep their New Year's weight loss resolutions, we'll reveal the best and worst of their diets and tackle the really big question, could your diet be deadly? I've had two heart attacks, kidney failure. Crash dieting nearly killed me. Some of the latest scientific research suggests do it right and your New Year's crash diet really could help you find the new you. I used to weigh 27 stone and fitted this skirt. I've lost six and a half stone in six months on the Cambridge plan. I used to be 13 and a half stones, I'm now nine and a half. I didn't like my body at all, but now... Crash diets can work, but there have been claims they can kill. So, how do you tell a risky fad from a winning formula? Dr Anu Bharti is here to give you tips on how to diet safely. I've got loads of women who come and see me um, about weight loss. And every month I do a weigh-in and hopefully they've lost weight. So that's, that's really fulfilling when that happens. Tonight we're following five New Year crash dieters. Will they arrive safely at their ideal weight or will they crash and burn? First up is youth centre manager Marilla from Hastings, whose long-term goal is to lose three stone. I shouldn't really have so much butter. That won't help. My colleagues are always saying, what diet are you on this week? Or, I thought you were dieting. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I was this morning, but I'm not this afternoon. It's... Every day I let myself down because every day of my life is a diet. Every morning I think, today's the day, I'm, oh, I'm going to get emotional about this, today's the day that I'm going to diet and then I let myself down. Well, if you, if you cut it really slim, it's not oh, can I have that kind of I deserve the body that I've got at the moment, frankly. It's not a case of, oh gosh, how did I get this big? I eat absolutely all the wrong things. I'm on pills for my cholesterol and I absolutely need to lose, lose the weight for health. My, both my parents died comparatively young and uh, I don't really want to go the same way, so I definitely need to do this for so many reasons. Marilla's going to be replacing all ordinary food with the Lighter Lives programme's range of meal replacements, claimed to provide all the nutrients needed to stay healthy. Her daily intake will drop to just 530 calories a day. Marilla will be paying around £66 per week for this mentored weight loss programme. Joining Marilla on a New Year diet is her best mate, cafe owner Despo, who ultimately hopes to drop two stone. I really believe I inhale the fat. I really think that I just it just inhales and it lays on me. Despo's doing the Ducan diet, the French answer to Atkins. It prescribes a strict low-fat protein-only diet for up to four days before phasing in carbohydrates and other food groups. Despo can eat as much of the allowed foods as she wants, but her food bill will rocket to around a hundred pounds a week. Next up is George from Tunbridge Wells. His New Year's resolution is to drop a stone fast. But his job in restaurant PR makes sticking to any crash diet a challenge. Kids, food And worried wife Karen fears for his health that he won't change his ways. Well, George has done it before. And it's all been very serious, it's all going to stay off, but actually it kind of slips back. So we'll just see what happens this time. It's not nice and supportive, isn't it? <laughs> George's biggest downfall is the demon drink. I like a drink. You only get to look like this without liking a drink. Seven, ten bottles of wine a week. Ten pints of beer, maybe a half dozen large uh, gin and tonics. But it's drinking moderately that I find a struggle. George will be binning the booze on the elimination diet. This regime was originally conceived by allergy specialist Dr John Mansfield to test for food intolerances. 
but George hopes it'll be a quick fix crash that won't leave him hungry. George can eat as much lamb, fish, root vegetables, bean sprouts, pears and kiwi fruit as he wants. This limited choice will reduce his calorie intake to around 940 calories a day. He's planning to stick to it for seven days and he'll be spending around £50 a week. Tonight's final New Year crash dieters are a mother and daughter from London. Long-term, Mother Jennifer wants to lose two stone, while daughter Emily is keen to drop £10. We've all eaten far too much over Christmas. You only need to lose about £10. I need to lose about two stone, which is a lot more. Mm. Mm. Fatty. Mm. <laughs> fatty, fatty, bum, bum. The girls are embarking on the Juice Master diet. This replaces all their meals with fruit and vegetable juice, totalling around 900 calories a day. This diet claims to help you lose seven pounds in a week, but the girls want to lose five pounds in just five days. And they reckon the diet will cost them around three pounds a day. Our five dieters aren't the only ones who'll go to extreme lengths to shift the unwanted weight. Dr. Anu's been hearing your crash diet confessions. I did a crash diet uh, when I had uh, about 30 eggs in uh, three days. So you had seven to ten boiled eggs a day? Yeah. So after three days, I was fed up. With Absolutely. And did you lose any weight on this diet? No. No, no. I'm not surprised. I mean, to be honest with you, that was a really silly diet, OK? It's one of these fad diets. And I can imagine if that you kept at that for longer than three days, you'd start craving stuff. You know, your body would start craving all the things that it needs because all you're having is protein. So that can affect your mood. It can make you very emotional. It can make you very angry. So these sorts of fad diets are not good for the body, mentally and physically. Our five slimmers are setting out on their New Year diets. They're all hoping to lose serious amounts of flab in a matter of days. In Hastings, Marilla's checking out her first batch of Lighter Life food packs. She's on the total plan, so all she'll eat from now on is four of these a day. Sure. At just 530 calories, Marilla's diet is the lowest calorie plan of all our dieters so far. Mm, roasted up. What I'd normally have a day, calorie-wise, is probably about 3,000 calories if I'm not dieting. Lighter Life claimed to have already helped over 200,000 people successfully lose weight. But the company recently hit the headlines after the death of a slimming bride-to-be who was following the programme. The coroner found no conclusive link between the diet and her death, and Lighter Life added that her obesity may have already compromised her health. Look, I'd much rather have this than a fillet steak. It's nutritious, simple, simple to do. The controversy clearly hasn't put Marilla off. Are you sure I can't tempt you? Elsewhere in Hastings, Despo's first lunch on the Ducan diet is a lot more substantial. Hard-boiled eggs, steak and yoghurt. And that's it. That is my lunch. And I am absolutely... The Ducan diet is a modified version of a high-protein diet which was created over three decades ago. It's a very complex four-stage plan, but you can expect to lose up to seven pounds a week on this. Some scientific research suggests that protein-rich diets spark glucose production in your small intestine, which makes you feel full. This, you're looking at it, it's not diet food, is it? In Tunbridge Wells, George is waking up to his first morning of the elimination diet, and it's fish for breakfast. It's uh, a steamed haddock with a, with a pear. An elimination diet was originally used as a tool to discover if a patient had food allergies or intolerances. Now, a result of this restrictive diet is that you lose lots of weight, and that's why it's become a very popular crash diet today. Just do a bit of butter on it. With so many crash diets out there, from the sublime to the ridiculous, you need to be extremely careful and make sure you get all the facts before you consider embarking on one. When I feel that I need to do something, onto my aloe vera I go. 
It's a nine-day program. Right. And for the first two days, you do just the products. Yes. You drink lots of aloe, and that's the really heavy detox part. Uh, you say that you only do it sort of three times a year. Yes, I do. And we drink lots and lots of water with it. Good. And exercise. Yeah. Exercise is a big, big part of the regime. Yeah. So it's very, very healthy. I don't think of it as a no, crash diet no. because we, after the first couple of days, yeah. you get to have a 600-calorie meal. Yeah. You look great, and you're doing it very sensibly. Yeah. So I, I wish you all the luck with that. Now, kathy has been quite sensible. She knows that she can only really sustain it for about seven days, and she loses a bit of weight, but she's doing it for health reasons. What worries me with crash diets and detox diets is people get addicted to them and they continue them long term and that's where they're going to run into a lot of health problems. We're following the progress of five crash dieters whose New Year's resolution is to see a dramatic drop on the scales within two weeks. Jennifer and daughter Emily are embarking on the first day of their juice diet, based on the book Seven Pounds in Seven Days by the Juice Master. It's become known as the Celebrity Juice Diet after the likes of Jordan reportedly used the plan to lose weight. Almost two, isn't it? I've never measured food in inches. Jennifer has taken on the role of chef. A couple of ice cubes. Oh, in a blender. Oh, God. I don't want to have to get the blender out as well. But the juice preparation is a demanding job, for Jennifer at least. Um, mm. you're supposed to have it for lunch. Shall I make you some now and take it with you? Well, yeah, otherwise you have to drop it off at work. Today, I think I'll have porridge. It's breakfast time in Hastings, and for Marilla, that means lighter life porridge. I think I put too much water in, actually. Whoops, I'm sure it shouldn't look like that. If I sit with a fork, it will last longer. <laughs> While she's on the plan, everything that passes Marilla's lips will come from a calorie-controlled food pack, which means no eating out, no alcohol and no snacking. This will probably do me for hours. A recent survey found that almost half of British men have turned to crash dieting and slimming pills in the bid for a perfect body. George is still getting used to his elimination diet, but far from being hungry, his main gripe is caffeine cravings. Casting for a cup of tea, which uh, is, uh, is off the menu. Many crash diets ban caffeine because it increases levels of the stress hormone cortisol. Cortisol sends signals to the body to increase its energy storage, resulting in hunger cravings. So George will have to make do with a caffeine-free cup of peppermint tea. So, how is George feeling without that perky morning cuppa? I woke up this morning and thought, oh, what did I get up to last night? How many did I have to drink? And I realised I haven't had a drink for, for over two days now, but it, it feels as though I have. Abrupt withdrawal of caffeine from your diet can change the way your brain functions. And this can cause drowsiness, irritability, nausea and headaches. So it's really important that you reduce your caffeine intake gradually so you can avoid these withdrawal symptoms. I've got, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, what feels like a, uh, a monster of a hangover. George isn't alone in his New Year's wish for a slimmer him. And out on the high street, Dr Anu found there's almost no limit to the tactic he'll use in the battle with the bulge. I just had to look for something to physically stop me putting food in my mouth. And what that was, was having my teeth wired. So you had your jaws wired, mm -hmm. and the purpose of that was to actually limit the amount of food you took in. Yes. I mean, I find that quite shocking, because I'm surprised that anyone would, would offer that service in this country. I just needed something to physically stop it going in. Yeah. Why did you have them taken out? It broke. It broke? It How did, did it break? break? Um, because even though you're talking like this, there is a temptation to actually talk properly, so you keep sort of trying to open your mouth. What about if you were trying to sort of put food in your mouth? Would they break because of when that as well? go there, yes. Ah, right, OK. <laughs> you so know. maybe you had a bit of a moment where you wanted to start yes, eating and you know. ping, they just break. OK, fine. But the way to lose weight sensibly is to restrict your calorie intake mm -hmm. and obviously to exercise more. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. 
In London, Emily and Mum Jennifer are attempting their own drastic weight loss methods. They're a day into their juice detox diet and Jennifer is already seeing the results. Just over 11 and a half. Four pounds in 24 hours is fast. Has daughter Emily done the same? My weighing that was good this morning lost three pounds on day one. I'd be amazed if I carry on losing three pounds every day, I'll be wasting away. But it seems like weight isn't the only thing that Emily's mum is losing. Oh, no. I've just sent Emily off with the wrong thing. She's supposed to have had a dreamy detox for lunch, and I've sent her off with a super detox. And the dreamy detox is completely different. I don't know whether I'll tell Emily or not. I might just keep it to, to myself. She needn't worry. Mixing up the juices is unlikely to be fatal. So far, Despo has been enjoying her protein-based Dukan diet, and she's keen to find out if it's doing the job. <laughs> I can't believe it! I've lost three pounds! Three pounds in a day! And it's good news, too, for friend and rival Marilla on the Lighter Life plan. Wow, 13.3. Yes, there was 13.6 and a half, so that's three and a half. Yes, three and a half pounds I've lost in a day. That's cool, isn't it? I suppose that's what happens when you, yeah, when you first start a diet after not dieting for a long period of time. The ladies' plan to start the year with serious weight loss is paying off but it could simply be water they're losing. Water is stored with glycogen, or carbohydrate, in the body. When you cut your calories, the glycogen gets used up, and the water goes too. So there's a risk. Weight lost early on will pile back on once the crash diet's over. More seriously, it means crash dieters need to watch out for signs of dehydration. Despite real food being off the menu on her Lighter Life plan, Marilla's off to celebrate her weight loss over lunch at Friend Despo's Cafe. How are you doing? Good, I'm just getting my lunch ready. Oh, let's have a look. Come and have a look. Come and have a look. Come and have a look. This is our starter, crab sticks. Not to start. our starter, it's your My starter. starter. The main course is just chicken, and then it's non-fat yogurt for dessert. Why are you making me stand here and watch you? Just so that you see what I go through. You're not exactly going through anything. Seeing Despo's Dukan diet lunch is proving difficult for Marilla. It's work, it is working, though. I'm, I can feel myself deflating. The trouble is, how long are we able to stick to it? Because you might suddenly go into some kind of protein overdrive with all this, all well, this meat that your, your colon is having to deal with and your liver is working overtime. And Maybe that's why I'm not sleeping so well. Whereas I'm sleeping quite well and I don't normally sleep well. You might have problems sleeping on a high protein diet like the Ducan diet because protein rich foods are high in the amino acid tyrosine and these stimulate the brain, hence keeping you awake. It's a burp on it. Do you? Mm -hmm. That's the side effects for that, burping. Well, I'll burp with food anyway, but I thought I wouldn't burp. Oh. Um. <laughs> I'll take some more meat results. Same weight loss, different diet. Yeah, so, so far. I'm see, happy with this. Week, I'm happy with this. And I am more, more no, I'm, than happy I'm, with this. I am delighted with this. This is astronaut food. It's day two of George's elimination crash diet, and he's come to see a personal trainer. But as well as a workout, Nadine is also giving George a quick MOT. She's testing for George's fat and muscle percentage, as well as his weight. But what's the verdict? This has shown me that you've got 18, and um, that's your measurement on the visceral fat rating. What's visceral fat? It's the more dangerous fat, unfortunately, mm. because it's the fat that surrounds our vital organs. So we would be looking to get that down. Right. Visceral fat is harder to lose than the fat under your skin, because it's more deeply embedded in the body's tissues. Studies have shown that high levels of visceral fat can lead to heart disease, stroke and diabetes. But visceral fat isn't the only health issue George needs to worry about. Your body fat percentage is 33.6. On the male chart here, you are just into the what they would term obese category, so we'd like to see that definitely yeah. come down. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 Right
George takes daily medication because of high blood pressure. Exercising more regularly would help to lower it naturally. Three feet on the legs now. While exercising is good, doing too much while crash dieting can upset the levels of minerals in the body, which in the worst case scenario can cause life-threatening heart problems. Happily, George is in safe hands. The boxing work has tired him out a little bit, which is a good thing, but it's just that George is not used to working out at the moment, so he needs to kind of let himself rest and recover and um, not let his heart rate get up so high, which we're doing at the moment. Again. Just let it, let it come down a bit. Back home with his wife, Karen, George is relaxing with a pint um, of water. She said that uh, uh, I'm morbidly obese. She didn't. But, I mean, You're right, Karen, she didn't. Did she never? But only just. So how are you feeling? <sighs> oh, I've calmed down a bit now, it's a stressful afternoon. I think he's getting withdrawal, George. He's a little bit irritable, and I think it's the caffeine withdrawal and the alcohol withdrawal. I think he's a little bit grumpy. Back in London, it's more fruit and vegetable juice for Jennifer and Emily on their Juice Master diet. And Jennifer is going to drastic measures to make sure they don't fall foul of temptation. Bon appétit. I was so hungry today. I almost went into the fridge and got a cheese and biscuit frenzy. So, can you just get rid of it for me and put it... In... Where can I put it? I think the best place for it to go is the car. What do you need to get rid of? There's just some nuts and biscuits and things like that. Butter, cheese, can you just get rid of it for me? I guess the biscuits, I can't have that. Pretzels are no. Cheese biscuits here for a feast, can't have any of them. Emily's put temptation out of the way as long as Jennifer doesn't find those car keys. Hiding your food away is a good idea, but serious weight loss requires dedication. My crash diet, lighter life, definitely saved my life. I mean, being this, over, this overweight, this obese, um, is not healthy and eventually would have led to some health problems. What period of time did you lose the weight over? It took me 16 weeks to lose about four and a half stone, and then I lost another half a stone over a couple of months of sort of starting getting back to healthy eating, you know, reintroducing food. And have you managed to keep it off? It's been a year now, yeah. and I haven't put on anything. I'm really? exactly the same. So it's about losing that initial weight yes. in, I guess, quite a drastic fashion. You yes. know? Um, yeah. But in your case, you, 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 you've used that weight loss to perhaps give you an impetus yes. to continue to be that size. That's right. And it's yeah. just a, an absolute wonderful thing that I can talk to someone who's managed to keep it off. In Hastings, Marilla set herself a short-term goal to help her stay on track. I'm going to be head bridesmaid, matron of honour, what do you call it, at my dear friend's wedding in July. And she's bought the dress, but doesn't fit me. And my goal is to fit into this. Wouldn't it be funny if I put it on and suddenly found that in one day I'd drop down to a size 40? She's currently a size 20, but is determined to get down to a 14 so she can get into the dress by the summer. Herein lies the problem. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that fat guy in my bra. There's two people. This isn't going to work. She was hoping for a morale boost, but Marilla's been given a reality check. But I didn't realise that I'd grown another me on the back here. I've just had another head. I've got bosoms and everything on the back. So this is a real, real wake-up call. You know, I really have to work very hard now. I can't see that that gap is ever going to be met in this dress. I've just got to make sure that I stick to this diet and lose the weight because I can't carry on being as overweight as this. And it might not just be the dress that's making Marilla feel emotional. On a very low-calorie diet, like the Lighter Life Plan, you're only taking in 530 calories a day and you're only having soups and shakes, so it can make you feel bored as well as hungry. 
This sort of diet will play havoc with your hormones, which can be a huge problem in itself. Hormonal changes are thankfully only temporary, but a more serious possible side effect of very low calorie diets is a raised risk of gallstones. Rapid weight loss is associated with raised cholesterol levels in the gallbladder. Cholesterol can form painful gallstones, which sometimes need surgery. The crash dieter's holy grail is weight loss that lasts. But lots of you out there have got stuck in a vicious cycle of weight loss, then weight gain. I've crash dieted and gained and crash dieted and gained and always gained a little bit more. I will lose a stone quite quickly and then go out and celebrate and then slowly it creeps back on every single time. Do I go down the line of a gastric band? They're not without their problems. There's always risks with anaesthetics, there's always risks of bleeding and infection, your recovery time can be ages. And a lot of people who've had them can inevitably put on weight again. Right. But I think it's worth actually looking at their body and seeing what they can do. It's about sensible eating right. and healthy eating yeah. and exercise, rather than going down that drastic route of having an operation. Yeah. Over in Tunbridge Wells, George is on day three of his elimination diet and he's braving the scales. He wants to lose a stone in a week. Lost half a stone in two days. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, maybe there is something to this diet. So the pounds are already falling off and it's no wonder as George can consume around 9,000 calories a week in alcohol alone. We're off to the recycling centre to get rid of uh, a few empties. Um, Got one or two in the uh, back. Dumping the bottles can be seen as a sign of a commitment to the diet. You know, alcohol intake was quite significant, and it's only when I make these uh, trips you realise how much we've put away between us. Most crash diets don't allow any alcohol because it contains an enormous amount of calories. A recent survey found that almost one in three people order crisps, nuts or pork scratchings to accompany a drink, while nearly a fifth regularly opt for takeaway food, piling on even more unwanted pounds. That was nice, Grenache, from the Ardèche in France. Mineral water, how did that get in there? Scientists from Tufts University in Massachusetts recently suggested that careful crash dieters can keep the weight off and that stringent regimes could work better than slow weight loss for some of us. But there can be drawbacks. We're following people doing four different crash diets to see if the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to shedding weight fast. It's day three and lighter life dieter Marilla is burning off a few extra pounds on a hillside walk with Despo, who's on the high protein Ducan diet. They're both determined to lose weight over the first weeks of the new year. It's like climbing my mm. Everest. Mm. My thighs, my thighs are good. We're going up the stairs or around the corner? Can you go up? I've never done that. You've never done there? No. Oh, come on, I'll show you, it's lovely. I don't think I can do this for much longer. <laughs> Oh, just think of the ounces we're losing. Oh, think of how tight your legs are going to be. Oh. Luckily, the end of the walk is in sight, and so is the cafe. Hey. Oh. oh, cake, coffee. You're not the help cake. No cake, no cake. The cake's off the menu, but unlike many diets, both Light Alive and the Ducan diet give caffeine the green light. And over a brew, Despo's got a crash diet side effect confession to make. Well, last night I was sitting there waiting for something and I thought, oh, my mouth tastes funny. And I think my breath really smelled. It felt as though it smelled. On the Ducan diet, you're likely to suffer from halitosis or bad breath. This is because your body has gone into starvation mode, so it's releasing chemicals into the blood called ketones, a process called ketosis. Now, you need to eliminate these ketones through your lungs, hence giving rise to bad breath. we we'll just have to wait and see what other side effects. Oh, I was a bit snappy this morning. I wonder if, that, if that's happening. Well, there'd be no reason for you to snap because you're stuck in your it. face all the time. Oh, I had to exercise some restraint. Is that the only exercise you do? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The girls aren't worried about the side effects at the moment, but taken to extremes, a diet like Despo's can have more serious consequences. The Ducan diet is high in protein, and this can give rise to gout. Gout is a condition caused by high levels of uric acid in the blood. It typically causes pain and inflammation in a single joint, usually the big toe. The thing is, it can also affect the kidneys, 
and that's why you need to drink lots and lots of water to flush out the uric acid. Otherwise, it could cause permanent kidney damage. Restaurant PR man George has gone away on business. Delicious. Mm. He's on day three of his elimination diet, but there's forbidden fruit at every turn. Here you go, guys. Sure, I can't tempt you, George. Very tempting, but uh, I won't succumb, no thanks. If those cream buns can't break him, I don't know what will. George isn't the first crash dieter to cut out food groups to try and beat the bulge, as Dr Anu discovered out on the street. I've tried the, the cabbage soup diet, I've tried the slim fast diet. My biggest problem is around my tummy. I always seem to pile it back on here. I try not to eat wheat, but is wheat a cause of putting weight on? Is it a cause of bloating? It can be. If you think there's an, an intolerance to certain food groups, the way to decide that is to eliminate them from your diet over a week and see what's happening with the stomach. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? 62. Right, OK. In terms of the weight distribution, when women um, sort of go through the change of life, yes. um, obviously their hormone levels plummet, and one of the results of that is that they sort of put on weight around here. Yeah. And it's very difficult to shift and that's unfortunately one of the things that happens um, as a woman gets older. In Tunbridge Wells, George is back home after his business trip. But while he's about to brave the scales upstairs, downstairs wife Karen has been enjoying his absence, guilt-free. As George was away <laughs> today, I was a bit naughty. I am... Um... I had croissants for breakfast. <laughs> and um, a sausage roll for lunch. And it was lovely. I really enjoyed it. It's George's day four weigh-in. Three or four pounds come off. So it's uh, your last weigh-in yesterday morning. So it's going the right way. George's goal to lose a stone in a week seemed impossible, but he's only four pounds off his target weight. The pros of the elimination diet is that you're actually excluding foods that are not that good for you, like wheat, dairy and sugar, and replacing it with low-calorie, low-carb meals. So you're actually going to lose weight. I've lost three quarters of stone. You, you... God, have you? Oh, well, that's fantastic. You look better. You're going to stick it out? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how, you know, how long I'll be um, quite strict for. The cons of the elimination diet is that we all want something we can't have. So once you start to exclude things in your diet, you'll crave them. So it'll make it very hard to stick to this in the long term. I'm very proud of him. Just keep it off, George. In West London, Jennifer and Emily have gone four days without solid food on the Juice Master diet, and hunger has taken hold. So they decide to distract themselves with a spot of shopping. But it's not long before mum and daughter become tempted by some rather tastier offers. We keep smelling the crepes. I'm beginning to think idea. it was a very bad idea. I have food everywhere. I can smell bacon, there's gourmet, there's burgers and there's everything. Mm. The thing I've been craving most is carbohydrates and I really want a jacket potato all the time. I haven't the had any cravings so far. If you're trying to be good but plagued by cravings, you could try thinking about your favourite food more, not less. A recent study at Carnegie Mellon University in America showed that repeatedly imagining eating chocolate could actually make you bored of it. Though the trick's not yet been tested on crash dieters. We might just have a coffee in a minute. I thought you were going to say great. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think a coffee is necessary. A coffee is necessary. We've been really good, really good. The juice detox diet forbids caffeine, but Jennifer and Emily decide to sneak in a couple of large lattes. Oh, God, it's lovely. This coffee is like a meal. Mm. It's gone down too quickly because it was cold. I knew I'd have another yield. I will. I'll have another on the way back. Back home, it's time for a weigh-in. 92.4 today. 
which means I lost nearly five pounds, just under five pounds. It was just under 12 when I got on the first day, and now it's just under 11 and a half. So in four days, it looks like I've lost just about seven pounds. I have felt a little bit hyper, but I do tend to do that when I'm on a crash diet. But I would say, generally, I've felt really good on this. It's not uncommon to get a buzz from going without food. But while it might seem like a good thing, it's something to beware of, as it can be addictive. And when crash diets are done to extremes, they can potentially be very dangerous, as Dr Anu's been finding out. Crash dieting nearly killed me. I've had two heart attacks, kidney failure. I definitely won't be going down that road again. Now, you told me earlier you hate crash diets. Yes. Why is that? I, mean, I was taking about 50 laxatives a day. Oh, my goodness. And um, yeah. anything that I had yeah. to get rid of. And landed up in intensive care, having right. had two heart attacks and kidney failure. At the age of 28? At the age of 28. So, am I right in saying you're lucky to be alive today? Very much so. Oh, my goodness. Very much. You, you restrict your food and you restrict your calories and all those important food groups. And what happened to you is classic of what can happen. And you almost died. And that's something we need to be aware of with crash diet. It's day five in Tunbridge Wells, and George is embarking on a macho workout on his small holding. I haven't got time to get to, to the gym today, so uh, this is an excellent uh, substitute. Working exercise into your normal daily routine is a great way of losing weight and keeping it off as it's much easier to maintain than a New Year's resolution to go to the gym. Chopping wood burns around 450 calories an hour, and wife Karen is pleased that the elimination diet seems to have affected George in such a positive way. I have personally noticed a marked improvement in George. Certainly his energy levels have gone up, I've seen that. And he looks brighter and he looks clearer. And I think that is because he's lost weight and he probably feels better about himself. So, yes, good. I'm really pleased. Really pleased. Go on. In Hastings, Marilla has some important business to attend to. Right, these are keto sticks. And these will let me know what level of ketones I've got in my urine. So here we go. You can buy these sticks at your local chemist to help you see if the diet's working. Ketones are a sign your body is burning fat for energy. Exactly the result Marilla wants. Now, see the colour I am? I'm kind of that colour, aren't I? So that's good. That means I've got some serious ketosis going on. So that shows that I'm burning the fat nicely. Meanwhile, across town, Despo's Dukan diet has had some unpleasant side effects. So constipated from the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, that's four days, fourth day. Uh, so I'm a bit bunged up at the moment. I think it's all the meat. I've had more meat in the last couple of days than I would have had possibly in a normal 10 days of my diet. So I think today I'm going to focus very much on fish. Just have fish and I'm allowed vegetables, so I'm going to hit the vegetables today. Um, and hopefully something might happen because I really don't want to feel like this. On the Ducan diet, a very high protein diet, you're consuming very little fiber, leading to constipation. In fact, Ducan dieters often complain of piles, a direct consequence of constipation. And I've got yeah, something for you. Have you? Come on in. To try and help Despo avoid this fate, Marilla's turned up bearing gifts, a box of laxatives to be taken with plenty of water. For faecal impaction, it may be easier to dissolve eight sachets in one litre of water. That's what you do, and I guarantee you'll go, all right? All right, I'll take it. Chronic constipation can be extremely dangerous. If the bowel stays blocked, toxic waste builds up. And the intestinal lining can become irritated, allowing toxins to enter the bloodstream. In the worst case scenario, the bowel can rupture, causing the life-threatening condition, peritonitis. 
But the overuse of laxatives can be dangerous too. How about I give it a go? Okay. Fingers crossed it will do the trick. And who knows, maybe Despo will be feeling a few pounds lighter. We've been following crash dieters Marilla, Despo, George and mother and daughter Jennifer and Emily. Despite sensational headlines in the press about the potential risks of rapid weight loss, they've all chosen to start the new year by putting themselves through calorie-slashing regimes. It's like climbing my mm. Everest. Although they've all had some side effects. It's a little bit irritable. They've only been minor. It runs up at the moment. I think it's all the me. But has it all been worth it? Despo should only have stuck to the strict protein-only phase of the Dukan diet for four days. But it's only now, nine days in, that she's ready to start introducing other food. From now on, she's determined to follow the Dukam rules properly until she's lost two stone. Will her weight loss so far be the motivation she needs to carry on? Now I'm 12 stone 10. Feel fantastic. Nine pound loss. Excellent. <laughs> Marilla is so pleased with lighter life that she's planning to stick with it for the next four months. The plan advises that every 12 weeks she'll need to do one week on a slightly higher number of calories. But have the past nine days given her the kickstart she wanted? I'm now 12 stone 10. I've lost 10 pounds in nine days. George's seven-day restricted elimination diet is now over and he'll slowly be introducing other foods back into his eating regime. But has the week-long program delivered the dramatic weight loss he was after? 16 stone. I'm just under. So uh, I've lost uh, at least a stone. I feel uh, a lot better. It's nice to see the needle go down below 16 stone. Yeah. I haven't done that for a long while. And, um, and it just seems brighter. I'm impressed with him. I hope, it can, I hope it continues. Despite cheating on lattes, Jennifer and Emily survived a full five days on only fruit and vegetable juice. It reportedly worked for Jordan, but has this juice diet managed to do the trick for Emily? Exactly the same as yesterday. But beginning I was 97.2, and now I'm 92.4. So it's nearly five pounds less in five days. They just fit properly now. <laughs> They're not loose or anything. And how about Mum Jennifer? Can she beat Emily's five pounds in five days? I've lost eight pounds. So that's, that's pleasing. I've generally felt really good on this diet. To be honest, I haven't felt hungry really at all. Great results for everyone, but which of this week's diets was the crashiest? On Lighter Life, Marilla shed on average 1.1 pounds a day, while the pounds dropped off Dukan Fan Despo at a rate of one a day. On the Juice Master Detox, Emily lost one pound a day, but her mum Jennifer lost on average 1.6 pounds a day. But it was George who lost weight fastest. On his elimination diet, he lost on average 2.1 pounds a day. But what are the pros and cons? The elimination diet wasn't designed for weight loss, but it did the business for George. Despite its restrictions, it doesn't exclude any key food group. And because you can eat as much as you like, you rarely feel hungry. However, potential side effects can include dehydration due to water loss, aching muscles, and if kept up long-term, vitamin deficiencies. I bought the shirt on a January sale and get the buttons done up on it. Yeah, it really helps me to feel, feel better when uh, you know, something you couldn't get into uh, suddenly uh, fits uh, as a present surprise. Jennifer and Emily's juice diet is a short-term plan which could make it easier to stick to. But potential side effects can include hunger and cravings, fatigue, and if followed for too long, muscle wasting. These jeans definitely feel better. And it's here, the legs, where I can feel the fit me better. I'll, I'll get back into exercise now um, and just continue to eat sensibly and hopefully it should stay, stay off. So far, Lighter Life's been successful for Marilla. Its makers claim the food packs are easy to use and contain all the vitamins and minerals you need. However, potential side effects of very low-calorie diets like this can include bad breath, 
nausea and an increased risk of gallstones. The Dukan diet appealed to Despo because there was no counting calories and she never went hungry. However, the potential side effects can include constipation, nausea and a raised risk of gout. I think it's time to celebrate. <laughs> One for you. Well, I'm not allowed. I'm not, I'm not allowed, allowed, allowed either. Sparkling water. Oh, it, it sounds like champagne. Oh, it does. <sighs> <laughs> that shattered the illusion nicely. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Over the last two weeks, we've explored seven of the hundreds of crash diets out there, and all of them produce results. But will your crash diet kill you? The truth is that it could do, but to decrease your risk, follow these three rules. Consult your doctor, stick to the diet's rules, and don't over-exercise. We all want a body to die for. Just make sure you don't die getting it.